Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. I've got something a little different for our Tuesday tutorial today, but it's a great little project that will help you use up some of those fabric scraps. I don't know about you, but I don't really go all out decorating for the holidays. I like having little things here and there that are a nod to the holiday, but not explicitly one single holiday exploded in my apartment. That's why I love and am borderline obsessed with decorating these plastic pumpkins from Michael's. Or I think they have them too at Joanne, probably Hobby Lobby. You've probably seen them everywhere this time of year. The best part is right now they're mostly on sale. I think mine were marked down like 70% at this point. So you can get them really affordably right now. But I came up with a bunch of unique ideas to decorate the plastic pumpkins. I made these three a couple of weeks ago. I'll tell you about them a little bit later, but I couldn't stop there and I knew I could make something cute with them using my fabric scraps. I already have this whole black and white thing going and loved my mixed print gingham dress so much. So I decided to use those scraps for my newest pumpkin decor. With the help of a little, okay, a lot of Mod Podge, I was able to make these adorable gingham pumpkins. And you guys, it's so easy to do and pretty much impossible to screw up. First, I cut my gingham into two inch wide strips that are long enough to wrap from the pumpkin's stem to its base. I cut the large one inch gingham on the straight grain and cut the two smaller ginghams on the bias so I wouldn't have to worry about any of the lines matching up. You can cut your strips with pinking shears if you want, but the Mod Podge is so absorbed into the fabric that the raw edges won't fray. Then I took some Mod Podge and thinned it out with a little bit of water. There's no magical recipe here. You just want the Mod Podge to be thin enough so you can soak your fabric in the medium. And the rest is kind of messy, but also really fun. You just take the fabric strips, dip them into the thinned out Mod Podge, remove the excess and place them on your pumpkin. I alternated large, medium, and small all the way around, but you could also go horizontally or without any rhyme or reason at all. Depending on the print of your fabric, it may not matter which way you lay out your fabric. But since my fabric is so graphic and so linear, I wanted an organized design, so I went vertical all the way around. And that's it, you just wait for it to dry, which honestly will take pretty much an entire day since the fabric is fully saturated with the medium. The fabric will look a little milky white at first, but as it dries, that will dissipate and it will ultimately dry clear. I made the smaller two pumpkins in the exact same way, but as the pumpkin gets smaller, the width of the strips needs to get smaller too. The smallest of the pumpkins has one inch wide strips. Okay, for the other pumpkins, the smallest one is just black pom-poms glued on randomly with a hot glue gun, so easy. The medium sized one is a paint pen where I wrote, hey boo, freehand. I'm fairly confident in my handwriting, but if you aren't, you could always use a Cricut cutting machine and vinyl for yours. The large one is faux flowers glued on with a hot glue gun. The trick here is to make it more dimensional. So I started with clipping all the leaves off the faux stems and placing a layer of those down first as a base layer. Then I placed the larger flowers, next the medium flowers went on, then the smallest flowers, really they're just buds, and finally the berries were placed to fill in any gaps. All of this took a ton of hot glue, so be sure you have plenty of glue sticks on the ready. And there you have it, four different DIY faux pumpkin decor ideas. I think what I love the most about these is that outside of the Hey Boo one, you could put them up in early fall and leave them out through Thanksgiving. They work for fall decor, Halloween decor, and Thanksgiving decor, meaning I'm not changing my decorations every single month. 
If you guys make any of these and post them online, please be sure to tag me. I am at Inside the Hem Everywhere. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye! Thank you.